Today I would like to talk about Hultfrauen, or in English they are called wood wives, is what it translates to. Now, wood wives, Hultfrauen, what our Germanic pagan ancestors believe them to be, are the soul of the tree, the energy that is in the tree. Gives it the power to grow and create oxygen for us. Without trees, we would not have life. And the woodwives were commonly known in the pagan world. And it was a certain person's job to go out and get wood for the tribe. Maybe not one, maybe it was a few people, but these people who would get the wood, they had a special connection to nature. Because back then we did not live in big cities. We lived in little ethnostates where we were connected with nature. We lived in nature. We were a part of nature. We did not view ourselves to be above nature. We viewed ourselves to be equal to nature. Now, we understood that the life of a tree was real. It's not some fake thing. I mean, these things grow. They go from little seed to great big giant things like you see here. And so we had great respect for that. So what we would do is we would go out into the woods, these special wood cutting people, and they would have a connection with nature that was so strong that they could ask the trees and feel the energy of the tree if it was okay to cut that tree down or not. And once the tree told them, gave them the energy sign that they can use that tree for harvest, for whatever they need, firewood, building a house, building a longboat, anything. Then they would carve a rune, the Udal rune, into the tree before they would chop it down. And the reason they would do this is so that the soul of the tree, the Hultzfrauen, the woodwife, could leave the tree and live in that rune, and through that rune, it would be able to move on into its next uh, evolution. So, I mean, I'm not certain on what they believed for what the next tree's evolution would be. Maybe it just becomes another tree. Maybe it becomes something else. Who knows? But uh, that was the whole basis of it. And it is just strange to think that we went from being this people who were so in touch with nature because we were a part of it that we could feel the energies of the tree and we had so much respect that we would do these things like make the deal with the tree if it agreed to be chopped down so we could harvest its wood for usefulness that we would do that we would carve a ruin into it and all that kind of thing i mean that's pretty amazing in my opinion very special and uh yeah so then after that, you know, Christianity came, the Romans came, the Holy Romans came, the fucking Charlemagne and all that, and, you know, we completely changed. It changed it all. They chopped down, you know, nowadays they, they chop down entire sides of mountains and they don't even think twice about it. It is very sad, considering the respect we had when we were a part of nature. And that is why we do not feel these energies anymore when we are in nature. It is not that the wood wives are not still here. It is not that these energies are not still here. They are. It is just we are so out of tune with it because we live in cities and these societies that we live in and have created since Christianity. We no longer are open. We are not spiritually open to connect with these things. In ancient Germania, there would be entire groves and forest areas that were sacred. And nobody would chop down the wood. Nobody would go into them even. And if you mistakenly went into them, you, and you had a horse, you would suddenly dismount, hop off your horse, and you would walk your horse through until you were out of that area. And if you happened to find a stick on the ground like this, and you happened to trip over it and fall, well, you would not stand up, because that was a sign that the gods and woodwives and spirits of that land, that forest, were not happy that you were there. And therefore, out of respect, if you fell and tripped over something, 
you would crawl on your hands and knees until you were out of that sacred area of forest. And this is the big difference between modern man after Christianity and the pre-Christian European man. We had a lot to be proud of in our past, and when Christianity came and conquered us by the sword, it suddenly changed us into a people who, well, have a lot more to be ashamed of since Christianity rather than proud compared to how we were before Christianity. Anyway, that is my little short film here about the woodwives and what they are. Holzfrauen, or Holzfrau, if it's just one, one tree, woodwife. But, uh, yeah, that's my uh, take on woodwives. That's, this is an uh, unbroken tradition of the Saxons, the Saxon tribe in northern Germany. That's my blood, my ancestors, my roots, that's what I am. And this is our view a tale that's been passed down to me for thousands of years. And this is a little bit of our history of our Germanic people that today people seem to have forgotten and know nothing about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Tschüss.